सो दिस इज ए क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम कैलेंडर चैप्टर आस्क बाई यू पी एस सी इन देयर सी सेट पेपर ऑफ टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन मिस्टर एक्स हैज थ्री चिल्ड्रन द बर्थडे ऑफ द फर्स्ट चाइल्ड फॉल्स ऑन फिफ्थ मंडे ऑफ अप्रैल दिस इज वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन जस्ट फोकस ऑन इट राइट सो मिस्टर एक्स हैज थ्री चिल्ड्रन द बर्थडे ऑफ द फर्स्ट चाइल्ड फॉल ऑन फिफ्थ मंडे ऑफ अप्रैल दैट ऑफ सेकेंड वन फॉल्स ऑन फिफ्थ थर्सडे ऑफ नवंबर On which day is the birthday of his third child, which falls on twentieth December? Right. So we have to find which day is there on twenty twentieth December. Right. So they have given. I have seen like many student get confused. They feel like uh, the question has given that the first child is on April. Right. So they think that the second child is getting born on the next year November. Right. So here. this question is not saying that they are getting born in the same year right so they are celebrating in a particular year the birthday of his three children right so here the birthday is cel celebration is going on so that can happen in the same year right so now fifth monday so in april how many days are there in april there are 30 days right so the fifth monday is talking about so till 28th april there will be only four weeks will get complete right so the fifth monday will fall on either 29th april or 30th april right so this thing is important we have to know right that the question is talking about fifth monday right so till 28th april there will be only four weeks will complete and after 28th after 28th april the fifth week will start right so the birthday will be either on 29th or 30th april right so suppose the birthday is on 29th april right and this is they have given this is monday right if this is monday then 30th will be tuesday right and then now we have to count how many days are there till 5th num uh, 5th thursday of november in the november also there will be 30 days so same thing will apply right till 20th november there will be only 4 weeks will get complete so 5th thursday right so the birthday will be on 5th thursday right so the birthday will be either on 29th or 30th november okay so we have to find on which day there is a thursday right so we will start from this 29 right so in 29 there is a monday so now we will count the odd days so in april we are talking about so in april there is a one odd day right this 30th okay and then may june july august september october and the november right so november we will take so in the april there is a one odd day in may there are 31 days so there will be three odd day june there will be 30 days so two odd day this will be 31 three odd days august will be 31 so three odd days september there will be 30 days so two odd days october there will be 31 days so three odd days right so in november compute for 29th itself right so there will be one odd day so how many odd days are there one odd days here right so 4 plus 2 6 plus 3 9 plus 3 12 14 plus 3 17 plus 18 so there are 18 odd days right so 18 odd days means we will divide it by 7 so there will be four odd days so there are four odd days we started from monday right so monday and we got four odd days so after monday four odd days will be tuesday wednesday thursday and friday right first second third fourth so on 29th november there will be friday right and 30th will be saturday but the question is saying that the fifth thursday of november it means we are not getting we are getting friday and saturday right we are not getting thursday so it means the birthday we started from 29th april 
we assume that the birthday is on 29th April. So, it means this is not the case, the birthday is on 30th April, right? So, this case is not possible, right? So, we will leave this, okay? So, we will consider this one that the first child is born on 30th April, right? If he is born on 30th April, now we will see the second case. So, I am removing this and then we will solve for second case, right? Now, suppose that in the second case, now we will consider the second case that the first child is born on 30th April, right? And this is given that this is a Monday, right? So, now the same thing we will do. So, now in the April month, there will be zero odd day, right? So, this will be zero odd day and this will remain same, okay? And we are computing for 29th November. So, how many odd days are there? 3 plus 2, 5 plus 3, 8 plus 3, 11 plus 2, 13 plus 3, 16 plus 1, 17. So, there are 17 odd days. 17 odd days means we will divide it with 7 again, right? So, what we will get? The remainder. The remainder will be 3. So, there are 3 odd days, right? So, we are on Monday. So, we have to add 3. So, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So, this is the third day, right? So, on the 29th November, there will be Thursday, right? So, this is matching with the information given by the question, right? So, the second child is born on 29th November, right? Now, we have to compute for the third child. On which day he is born? He is born on 20th December, right? So, we have to find which day is there on 20th December, right? So, you can do directly right, uh, like uh, there is a 29th November is Thursday. Then the next Thursday will be on 6th December, 29 plus 7, right? And the next will be 6 plus 7 on 13th and 30 plus 7. Then the next Thursday will be on 20th December. He is born on 20th December, right? So, that day is also Thursday. So, the answer will be option B, right? Otherwise, what you can do? You can see in the December month, 20 days are there because we have to compute for 20th December, right? And one more day is there of November, 30th November, there is a one day, right? So, total 21 days. Okay. So, the odd day will be 0. If the odd day is 0, it means that the day will be same as 29th November. So, that is Thursday, right? So, the third child is born on 20th December and the day which day they are celebrating his birthday is Thursday, right? So, the answer is option B. So, I hope uh, you question aap sabko samaj aage hoga. If you guys still have some issues, so you can connect with us and I will explain you this question personally again.